How you doing, you brothers you. and sisters? My name is Raul. Um, I'm here to tell you another testimony. This is my testimony when I really went to hell. This is a year after I left the hotel. I don't know if you've seen the video that I posted before this one that talks about when I was in a hotel and the demon was trying to take my soul because I was living in adultery. Well, this is a year later after we left the hotel. We got an apartment and I kept living on sin, committing adultery on my wife, being prideful, arrogant, you know, not listening. And my wife kept praying to God to chastise me and take me to hell, you know, to, to show me that the path that I'm living of sin is a path of destruction. So this is my dream. Then I decide to go to sleep. And as I go to sleep, in my dream, I was driving a white car, a white Jeep. Behind the, the white car, behind the Jeep, my wife pulled up with her aunt and her two parents. As I got out of the car to say hi to them, all of a sudden, you know how dreams are weird, my wife and her parents disappear. It was just her aunt and my daughter in the car. I walked to them to say hi to them. And when I turned around, her father and her mother all of a sudden appeared behind me. And her father grabs me by the arm and pulls me and tells me, come on, you're going to come in my house and you're going to confess that you committed adultery on my daughter. And I kept telling my wife's father, no, sir, I'm not doing that. That's not what I'm doing. I was lying, you know. And now I realized that I remember on my dream, I told him, I swear to you on God, I'm not cheating on your daughter. I'm not committing adultery, you know. And I lie using the name of the Lord in vain in my dream. So after that step, his father was like, come on, walk in my house with me. I have my lawyer with me. We're going to record it. And you're going to confess that you're committing adultery on my daughter. So her father and her mother with her lawyer make me walk into his house. As I walk into his house, he say, come and deliver room so you can sit down and do the recording. They go inside. I go in the house last. And as I'm walking in the house, I'm like, I'm going to go in the living room because I don't have nothing to hide. But deep in myself, I knew I was lying. So I saw the kitchen in there. So instead of going in the living room, I'm like, no, I'm going to go in the kitchen because my heart was convicted. I'm lying. You know, I shouldn't do that. So I go in the kitchen and I decide to sit down. As I was sitting in the kitchen, I had like a little bench in the kitchen. I'm sitting down. This dog walked towards me, you know. It was them white dogs, like mob dogs. You know, they're real tall and have a lot of hair on them. You know them dogs? They have a lot of white hair and they're real tall, real hairy dogs. He walked towards me and he started licking my feet. As I look at my feet, I realized my shoe was missing and my sock was almost coming out of my feet. So the dog kept licking my feet. So I stretched my hand towards the dog and I decided to pet the dog in the head. As I'm petting this dog in the head and my hand started to go down towards his tail, in that moment, a demon head appeared at the dog tail. Guys, if I would tell you the way this demon face looked like, oh my god, guys. Whew. His eyes were so piercing, so terrifying, so horrific. Them eyes were pure evil. We humans, we think we know what being evil and mean and horrible is. We don't know what that is. This demon was pure evil, pure horrifying. He, with that look, I was like so in shock when I seen that that demon head came out of the dog tail. It shook me so much that I passed out and I wake up in hell. I was naked. I was in a fetus position. My hands, my wrist was tied up with rope and my feet, but my ankles was tied up with rope and I was naked and I was in a pot. You know, like a bowl made out of rock, a, a rock, a, a, a bowl made out of stone. And I'm inside of it in a fetus position, you know. My wrists were tied up with rope, my feet was tied up with rope. And I'm like, where am I at? Where am I at? And I tried to look up and two demons were standing there. One of them had a knife in each hand and he was sharpening it. And the way this demon looked, he had a smile from ear to ear like the Joker. But this part of the skin was missing. You could see his teeth from right here to right here. 
and his eyes will pop out. You know, and people that have that ability to make their eyes pop out, that's how his eyes look at this demon. And a smile from ear to ear. It was two of them, a male and a female. The male was sharpening his knife, and he started cutting this part of my arm right here. He started making slices like a watermelon. He started to cut my arm in slices, ready to eat my flesh. I'm looking up, and I'm like, where am I at? Where am I at? Lord, please forgive me. I tried to pray and pray and pray, but no response. And in the moment that I'm asking myself, where am I at? I hear a whisper, a gentle whisper in my ear saying, you're in kindergarten hell. I raised my face up again and I look and it was this huge wood door, huge wood door with numbers one through five. One, two, three, four, and five, okay? And on top of these numbers was the face of the girl Wendy's. You know the fast food place Wendy's? You know the girl with the two tails, two ponytails, red ponytails? But after I had my dream, I realized it wasn't the actual Wendy's girl. It was a demon that looked like the Wendy's girl. But her horns come out like this. And the other horn too. Come out like that. So... I got to see the door of hell with the numbers one, two, three, four, and five, and a demon head on top of it, okay? And this voice on my head that told me, this is not even hell, this is just kindergarten hell. I put my head down again, remember, I'm in this bowl made out of stone with my hands tied up with rope on my feet tied up with rope and I'm praying and I'm naked and this demon is cutting my arm and this demon is finished cutting my arm this other female demon walked towards me she grabs a bowl at a stone put it in the lava she walks towards me after she got lava on this bowl and she put it on my face she put it on my face as this lava hits my face I could see how my face is melting down to a skeleton and I generate again and I start to cry I say Lord please Please forgive me, Lord. Please get me out of here, Lord. Please, please, I beg you. I was crying, I'm begging, but no respond, no respond. God will not answer me. He will not listen to me. And I kept praying, I'm praying. I raised my head up again, and I realized that these two demons had a brick right here. Both of them had a brick floating in the middle of their shoulder. The brick was not sitting in the shoulder. It was levitating in the shoulder. So each person that was in a pot like me, made out of stone, naked with their risk on their feet tied up with rope. If you were trying to get up and escape, this brick will fly towards you, hit you in the head, knock you out, and come back to the shoulder, and they will come pick you up and put you back in the bowl. You can escape. I'm praying, I'm praying after I seen that that brick flew up and hit somebody that was trying to escape, and hit them in the head and put them back in their bowl, and came back to the shoulder. I kept praying and praying. Oh, the Lord, please forgive me, Lord, please forgive me. I beg you, I beg you. I kept praying and praying. Oh, the sun on the ropes disappeared out of my wrist, and the, the ropes disappeared out of my feet. I punched the demon in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, and the demon disappeared. The other female demon, I cursed her in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, and she disappeared. All of a sudden, I thought that I'd wake up, but no, I was within another dream. And in this dream, I was in like apartment. And I walk up the hallway to the second floor. And as I get to the second floor, it looked like it was my dream. I was living in this apartment. I opened the door, and my son was in there with my daughter. I asked them, where is their mother? And they will tell me that their mother went out. So I'm looking for my wife inside the apartment. Somebody knocks at the door again. I go to look to the pig hole. Nobody was there. I opened the door to see, and when I look at the hallway, it was dark. Nobody was there. I closed the door. When I closed the door, behind the door was a demon, so horrific demon, standing there, just staring at me with a smile on his face. I grabbed him by his throat, and I cast him out in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And in the moment I wake up, I finally wake up. I wake up crying. I wake up crying so bad because I didn't want to go back to this place. This place was so horrific. My wife already knew, she seen it on my face. The moment that I wake up crying, crying like a little baby, and I told her, I shook her up. I was like, wake up, wake up. She looked at me, she already knew before I told her that I went to hell. She knew within herself, because she told me, I pray for God to chastise you, to show you that that path that you're taking of adultery, of sin, of arrogance, of pridefulness, is taking you to the path of hell. And many of us are doing that. Brothers and sisters, it's time to repent. It's time to seek God. Please, I beg you guys. I beg you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I beg you. You don't want to go to that place. 
It's a horrible place, look, guys. And now, a couple years pass after that, probably a month ago, no, probably three months ago, I had a dream of hell too. And today I realized the meaning of it. Let me tell you the second dream. In this dream I was laying on the floor and this demon was covered in black lava, like in black lava. As I'm laying on the floor, his face comes towards me in front of me and he opens his mouth and he just is screaming at me. He looks so horrific. All of a sudden he disappeared and I see this demon standing at this door in an oval shape, you know? He's standing at the door in an oval shape and the walls of this, um, of this door were made out of bricks and the demon was just standing there at the door, standing like that, covered in black lava, just standing there, staring at me. All of a sudden he ran towards me, grabbed me by my throat and put me against the wall and he opened his mouth and he screamed at me. And I wake up. Time has passed by and today I realized the meaning of that dream because I was living my life in sin. The Lord showed me the door of hell. That's where I was going, but the door was shut. And as I kept sinning and sinning and sinning, I had the dream of a demon standing at the door, but this time the door is open. Guys, when I noticed that, I realized that that's what the Lord is trying to tell me. If I keep sinning and living a life of sin, I'm basically walking to hell myself. And that's what many of us are doing. We're walking ourselves to hell. And we're not listening to God. We cover our eyes, we cover our ears, we cover our mouth because we don't want to hear it. We think that the path that we take is the right path. I want to tell God thank you.